Hey what is guys, my name is Eric and welcome to an After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Roll Um the Roll Advice tool is mainly used to highlight the subject or exclude a subject or object from the video. Say you want to add an effect to the background or the video and you don't want anything else so and you want to make sure that the subject or selected area is not affected by the effect if that makes sense. Um like shown in this in this example. Vertibash tool fairly easily. Um, you can also do the um, exact like opposites. You can just highlight one thing like subject like this guy here in my case and uh, just make sure that the effect is only affecting this part of the video. So um, first you're going to want to make sure that you have your project set up correctly. You want to have your video. Um, you're also going to want to set the resolution here to full so we can get the full detail of the footage um, now you're going to want to duplicate the layer or the video layer um, that you are working with that you want to apply the rotobrush effect on you can do this by holding down ctrl and t you're also going to want to resize it down to exact length of how much to last for you can either do that by cutting the video from whatever whichever point you want by uh, going to the point here with the current time indicator and pressing down Control shift d or you can just drag from the right or left of the video it's gonna do the dragging option um it's gonna make it just like uh, i don't know just for the sake of the video but yeah um from here on you want to double click on the duplicate layer to make sure that it goes into the correct tab of just layer so it doesn't affect the whole composition from here on you're going to want to go up to this uh, toolbar up here and find this guy it's like a guy and the um, brush this is the rotor brush tool and as you can see you get like a green circle with a pl uh, plus in it um, this is going to be our brush so you can resize this brush um, by holding down control and pressing mouse one and holding down mouse one and while it's holding down control and mouse one you're going to you, you can just move up to resize, move up and down to resize the brush. Up is for um, brush to make the brush larger and down to make the brush smaller. So we're going to want to. I'm going to make this brush around this size. This is easier to work with in my case. And you're going to want to just trace from the inside of the subject. So so something like this. You don't have to be super fix all the um, you can fix any errors you have you get by holding down alt as you can see the brush turned from green to red and instead of the plus icon there's like a minus and you can just like draw over the uh, area that you failed at or you don't want and it will delete it so um, yeah that's pretty much um, so you're going to want to just trace around the subject and make sure it's as good as possible or as good as you need. As you can see it failed here so all you have to do is hold down alt and then mouse like this, throw, throw over the area like this. You don't have to like draw out the whole area like this if you have a fit here that you don't need. Uh, all you have to do is just go around the outer edge of the subject like this and it will delete anything outside of it so yeah um, from here on once you're done with um, fixing up your subjects uh, or the brush I'm not going to do a perfect job here because I want to make this tutorial as good as possible you can just frame by pressing on the next frame button uh, Roto brush tool will try and predict your next frame Let's go ahead a few frames. As you can see, it's trying to track the subject as it's uh, as it kind of knows uh, what we are trying to um, trace, or what we are trying to highlight. Oh, and also you're going to want to make sure that you a gray and yellow part here, uh, and make sure that it's the length of uh, the area or the length of uh, however long you want the roto brush to last for. Just drag it out to make sure that it stay at least uh, at, at least the length of the um, video clip here to pick a layer. So we make sure that the rotor lasts for the entirety of the chosen clip. 
if that makes sense. Um, uh, from here on, once you're done with the, all of the uh, tracing or the brushing, whatever, um, you can just press on freeze if you want to make sure uh, if you want to highlight uh, highlight the subject and make sure that the subject is the only thing that is affected by the effects that you're here. Um, if that's not the case and you want to exclude the subject and make sure that the effect affects everything else other than the subject, so the background or the foreground, then for that you just have to uh, press on this here invert foreground background. Uh, either way, um, after you've done this, I, after you're done with all the masking and stuff or brushing, all of the roto brushing, you're going to want to press on this button here. It's it's a freeze button. Uh, this will uh, pretty much like lock everything in, so you don't lose this, and it will start freezing. Um, it, it will come up with a tab where it says like freezing and how many frames, and you just let it complete to the com uh, complete fully. Be back once it's done rendering. All right, so Rotobrush has just finished freezing or rendering itself. Um, once it's done rendering, you're going to uh, go, want to go back to the composition layer so you, you don't see the um, pink lines anymore. Um, and so since I pressed on the invert option, uh, it's going to affect uh, whatever effect I'm going to apply on this uh, clip, clip here, on this video here. It's going to affect just the um, background and not the subject. If you did not click this button, then it will only affect the subject. Um, so we're going. To, I'm just going to use like a blur here just to show you guys that it does work and how it works and whatever. Put a Gaussian blur here. Put it up to like 10, almost 10. Uh, as you can see, it only affects the background and not the subject itself. Since it didn't do like a perfect job, you can see like some artifacts here, some uh, areas that aren't as well um, blurred or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the If you did, please click that like button down below as it helps me out a lot. If you have any questions or suggestions for either future videos or whatever, then leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.